morning peeps morning from miami beach i want to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake that a lot of people in the world make which is picking the wrong career path and then generally not being satisfied with your life for such a long period of time that you know you do a job that you hate and like, if a man is not happy because he doesn't like his job then that man cannot progress in his life that man cannot drive himself forward there's a famous piece of japanese work done called ikigai so that means they, they talk about finding your ikigai right so that's what you love what the world needs um or the other two those are the two main important ones anyway um, what you're good at what you love what you're good at what the world needs what you can be paid for because ultimately you want to be paid for this stuff so if you think too much about what you love you'll go down the wrong pathway you need to think more about what you're actually good at ask your friends ask people that you know ask people that are trustworthy ask people that are honest with you be like guys what am I good at doing? Everyone is given some sort of special talent. You are good at doing something in particular. You need to work out what that is. So, for example, when I was growing up, and even to this day, when I write down a list of things that I'm good at, that list doesn't have to be long, but there needs to be something on that list. And there definitely is something on that list for you. So things I am good at, for example, I would write um, engaging with new people. Um, other things I'm good at. Understanding what music should be played in what situation. Other things I'm good at. Being intuitive enough to know what someone's all about from moments of meeting them, minutes of meeting them. What else could I say I'm good at? Public speaking, confident enough to stand up in front of a big crowd and say whatever the hell I want to say. So there you go. Let's just run with those, okay? I've just said four different things that I'm good at. I'm just going to sip on my English tea right here while I sit on my let me just show you the beautiful scenes as always. This is my apartment here in Miami Beach. And my views this morning are just absolutely epic. That, my friends, is the dream. That's where I live, right on Miami Beach. Anyway, you can also see I worked out pretty hard yesterday. I got my chest pumped out like this. <laughs> I did a full body workout yesterday, so my body's in pretty sublime shape today. You can see that I'm pumped all over, and I'm just, this is what I'm focused on. I'm focused on being a man, I'm focused on getting what I want, and I'm focused on the key things. Fitness, looking good, career, business, I call it money and muscles, business and body. Those two are so integral to your life, man. So integral that you have a business making money, or you have a job that you like that makes you money, and you, have a, and you have good health. That is everything. Drake just announced that he's taking time off making music to solve stomach issues that he's had for years. There you go. The biggest rapper, the biggest musician, the biggest superstar in today's world is taking about a year off to focus on his stomach issues and is making no music. Health numero uno. I say this in all of my videos. Right, back to what we're talking about. So. I wrote, I just told you four things that I'm good at doing. You need to write down, get a piece of paper today and write down four things that you're good at doing. Okay? Now, once you have that, so just, just think deeply about what you're good at doing, right? Like, take your time with it as well. So, you know, when I think about it, and I think about the things I was good at as a kid as well, you're going to realize that you're, that doesn't change much. What you were good at 10 years ago is still what you're good at today. You may have developed on those skills, but I was always good at public speaking. Um, 
you know, I was always good at engaging with new people and adapting to new environments and having lots of different friends. You know, I could engage with a bunch of hippies and then engage with a bunch of billionaire bankers. So I can talk to both of them because I've lived multiple lives in different places. So, you know, adaptability to all these different people and public speaking and uh, music was a bit of a random one. You know, it was like, I understand what music to play because I'm now DJing in front of crowds and at private parties and people love my music. I get all sorts of messages about this. So those are the skill sets, you know, and those are the basic ones. Now, is there more? Yes, maybe. Take your time. Think about the skill sets that you that, that you, you are good at. Think about the things you are actually good at. And then try and pair it up with the other sections of Ikigai. Okay? What you can be paid for. What you love. What the world needs. So, again, let's use me as an example here. What I'm good at doing. So, if I'm good at speaking publicly, good at adapting to people. Yeah, let's just say I'm good with my diet and fitness, got a great body, probably got a top top 5%, top 1% male body, to be honest, probably top 1%. I don't see many people walking around the beach here that, that, that look like this, you know? Man's ripped blood. <laughs> anyway. Um, so let's just say I'm good at fitness. So then what, what I could do, what, what the world needs and what I love and what I can be paid for is a diet and fitness program. So I was thinking about this business I could launch, which is like a consistency coach. So because I'm so consistent with my body, I could be a consistency coach where people pay me a, a fee every month and every single day I send them tips in a group where I'm on their case to make sure that they are achieving their goals and ticking off what they need to do. Have you eaten well today? Don't drink alcohol tonight. This is the, this is the muscle group I'm working in the gym today. Do you need any help where you're, where you're getting Q&A questions and answers? So what I'm doing there is I'm helping men get better bodies and become more fit and healthy in the mind mentally. And at the same time, I'm good at doing it. I can be paid for it because men need that because it's a problem to solve in today's world. And could you say I love it? Maybe, I do love it. I do love my health, I do love body, my body, I do love fitness and nutrition, it means a lot to me. So there's an example of a business I can launch based on Ikigai, okay? So you need to go away and think about a business or, or a career that you wanna get involved in, that you wanna launch, okay? That, that's in line with Ikigai. So I hope that that's given you some sort of guidance. Because if you do something that's not in line with your ikigai, your life is going to be difficult and long and treacherous. And it's just going to be an up, up, uphill struggle. And guys, trust me when I say this to you, like, I've had certain regrets. They're not major regrets, but when I was growing up, I was the best actor at school alongside a girl called Casey Barnfield, who became a famous actress. So her and I were the best at school by far. You know, we were like really good at this. And I was a good singer as well. And when I was about 13, 14, I wanted to sort of progress that. But I was also good at economics. And my father was a businessman. And my dad said to me, listen, you're going to go and do business or accounting or law or be a doctor. You're going to go do one of those things because that's safe and secure. And that's how you're going to make money. So my dad pushed me into that. So I ended up going to you know, business school at Imperial College and then going into investment banking at the time in 2009 when I graduated. Investment banking was the most lucrative thing. So everyone wanted to work at Goldman Sachs. So I just followed that and chased that and chased the trend. And fine things worked out for me, but I, I chased the trend and I chased and followed what, what was happening with everyone else rather than chasing really what was inside of me and what I was good at doing. So follow your own path is what I'm trying to say to you. You know, don't go down the path of everyone else. Now, maybe had I tried to become an actor or a singer, I may have failed and it might not have worked out, but at least I would have done something that was true to my heart, that was true to who I was, that was, that was in line with my talents. Now I'm having to adapt that, okay? So now at a later date in life, I'm having to do it, uh, I'm having to do things a bit differently, you know? I'm having to be like, okay, I've got to this point now, what can I use, what, what resources do I have and how can I utilize that 
to pivot into the things that I enjoy doing, what I'm actually good at and what I love, right? So, so that's, so I'm now at 35 years old with money, with time, with experience, I'm now readapting and thinking, okay, what can I now do? Let me look back at this icky guy thing and think what I'm good at, what do I love, what the world needs, what can I be paid for? How can I, how can I take this and utilize this because I can't change the past. All right, fine, I'm not an actor or a singer. Doesn't matter. I can still utilize those skills. I'm, I sang at a friend's wedding two months ago. You know, that was beautiful. I've been DJing at private parties. So that's also, I'm, you, know, you, know, you, you go back into the things that you used to be good at doing and the things that you love, you can dabble in those things. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna become a superstar DJ or try and become a singer. That means now that I'm in business and I'm gonna remain in business. So. Can you sort of see there how I'm, I'm trying to adapt and evolve my life into, into what I think is, is, is gonna make sense for me? So look, I hope this was helpful. And I just don't want people doing things that they hate. I don't want you doing jobs that you hate. I don't want you doing something that, you know, I hate it when a man says to me, I hate my job. That's so tough. It's so tough on you, it's so taxing. And most people won't like their job and that's just the reality of the situation because people have to do a lot of these jobs in society and, and are not necessarily going to be happy doing it. So think about that, you know, take a weekend or two, you know, take this weekend to really think, okay, I'm actually really good at these two or three or four things. How can I do more of that? Right? You should always be thinking about, to, about how to advance your life, my friends. Always, always, in this red pill society, and there's a lot of BS talk about red pill lately, don't listen to it. We are, we are the improvement sector. We are constantly trying to evolve as men. I'm constantly trying to look better, feel better, have more money, have more beautiful women around me, love my family, spend more time with them. It's the best. Why would you not try and work on a consistent improvement? Why would you not try and consistently work on that? It makes no sense to me. Why would you just, sometimes you can sit back and enjoy life, and I do that anyway, but enjoy life when you've made it, man. Enjoy life when things are going well for you. Hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to making more videos. I look forward to showing you the plans that I've got over the next couple of months. And leave any comments. Please like my video, it really helps really helps drive the algorithm. I wanna get more views, I wanna get my message out there, and then I can start releasing my masculine medicine course at some point, but uh, and also leave comments. Tell me, tell me, you know, how you're feeling in life. What are you? Are you doing what you want to do? I'll get back to you guys individually. Are you in a job that you like? How did you find that job? And do you agree with Ikigai? Is it something you're going to actually use? Are you going to sit there this weekend and write down the things that you're good at? And I hope you do. Till the next one. See you later, guys.